The Group 1 Randwick Guineas may be short on numbers, but certainly not on quality. Many in the racing game suggesting this year's crop is as good as the halcyon days of Octagonal, Nothing Like a Dane and Saintly. This year looks a vintage year, there's some really nice colts going around. There's not much between the horses, but all the trainers really like the horses they've got. You know, you, you don't hear a bad word about uh, uh, from them about any of their colts, and, um, and, and, uh, and that's going to make it really interesting. Uh, it's going to be a mouth-watering contest. This race, uh, this race tomorrow is shaping up as possibly the three-year-old championship of the season, and uh, it's, it's fantastic to have a runner to be, uh, to be able to be competitive with them. Hallowed Crown shooting to win and Sway Ness are all tipped to be stars both on and off the track. Tomorrow's race could see the next potential stallion star also emerging. This race can have a massive impact on the breeding industry in the next four or five years. Um, with the sort of pedigrees and the colts and the race performances of the horses around, around my horse, Hallow Crown, he's won a three-year-old championship, the Golden Rose, last year. And uh, for him, he probably doesn't have to prove himself quite as much, but gee, it would be nice for him to just reassert his authority over this group. Hallowed Crown beat the others two weeks ago and while his trainer is confident of repeating the dose, the others are equally as buoyant. As he showed last prep, he's a horse that comes on with racing and no doubt it'll be a similar sort of case this time through but I've put a bit more foundation to him this time through so I'm hoping he gets to peak fitness just a bit quicker. Hopefully there's something on the horizon for our stable. We've been working really hard all season to try and, uh, try and nurture this horse. He's a real talent. Um, and, uh, and I think we've got him there, you know, in absolutely perfect condition. I couldn't be more happy with the horse. Snowden is wary of the quality of the other runners. He also believes this bunch of horses could be some of the best we've seen in many years. It brings back memories of the uh, octagonal days, um, saintly, and, and uh, you know, that, that was sort of the clash it was with the three-year-olds in. We'll also know the favourite of the Golden Slipper tomorrow when Vancouver and Headwater meet in the Todman. The winner, no doubt the punter's pick for the richest two-year-old race in the world in two weeks' time.